Hey guys, Amanda Shishma here and welcome to my channel. Today I have a little furniture review for you guys, specifically a sleeper sectional review. This is from Wayfair, it's called the Wade Logan Sleeper Sectional and if you like it, I'll have the link for it down in the description for you. This is what the couch looks like. It's a beige couch and chase. The material is velvet and this arrived in three different boxes. The chase doubles as storage and this is what the couch looks like when the bed is pulled out. The bed is very easy to put in and pull out so you shouldn't have any issues there. I do have carpet too so if it's easy on carpet it should be totally fine on wood. The chase is interchangeable so you can add it to either side which is great for when you're living in like an apartment or a place you might move out from. You can always change the orientation of the couch. Now this is pricey, at least I thought it was because it's my first adult couch. This was $1,270 on Wayfair at the time I bought it, which was in late August. At the time of this video, it is the season and it was Black Friday and it's currently sitting at $870. I'm kind of depressed seeing that because I paid so much for it, but that's life. They do have different colors of this couch, but the beige has been sold out more than once. So maybe you have to like save it to your wish list or something if it's sold out and get a little notification. Um, you know, it's just like a color that goes with everything. So I'm sure that's why it's sold out. So when I initially ordered, the website said the couch will be delivered within the week of me ordering it. But I already knew that was not the case. That's not what happened. But it was only delayed by two weeks, which is really good. I know some furniture places have been delayed for like months or some people I know ordered couches and they had to wait like a year. So yeah, two weeks is really nothing compared to that. But just keep that in mind, the delivery date shows will probably not be the delivery date that you get it by. So if you need it as soon as possible, maybe just, you know, remember that. And this couch did come in three boxes and two boxes arrived first and then the other box arrived so they didn't come together. If you get these boxes delivered right to your place, um, the, I assume the delivery person will probably bring it up and you won't have to worry about the weight or anything if you live up on the stairs. But for me, I needed it delivered somewhere else so I had to enlist some help from my brother and my boyfriend for help. It was extremely heavy, at least it looked like it was extremely heavy. So just keep that in mind if you're not getting it straight delivered to your place. The assembly was not easy. I would grade it as like a medium level. The actual unboxing of the couch and the cushions and everything was easy. And also they put stuff in the actual um, storage thing, like they put cushions in there. So that kind of, you know, saved you some space, but that's why the boxes are so heavy as well. It does come with the tools and the wheels for the sleeper sofa part. Um, and those are hidden kind of in the box. So you really have to look for it. And the arm rests are actually velcroed on so you kind of have to position it the right way so the black part of the velcro doesn't show. Knowing where all the parts were supposed to go was very easy but there were some annoying hiccups. So basically both ends of the couch are connected by like slots so you have to it's like a slot like it has like the part where the slot goes and you have to like hook it into that basically and to do that you have to lift it and try and hook it in and it was really really difficult I personally couldn't lift like the end by myself I needed help so definitely think about that if one of your weaknesses is strength other part that was hard I'm sorry it's getting a little bit dark because I'm filming this in the evening but these cushions back here like these the back part of the couch um they all have to go into the correct spot like I thought we could just put them whatever but no you have to actually put them like they have a spot they have to go into and this middle one maybe try and get that knocked out first because that was so hard to do they also have like I think they they also have like the slots that they slide into but it was really really hard I think they have a pattern like on each side of how they hook in so definitely like kind of align them first and that's how you can make your life a little bit easier than ours were but overall I am really excited for this couch this is my first adult couch the couch I had before was like an Ikea couch it was a three-seater but it had like two wide cushions if that makes sense but it was very narrow and I'm like a very short person and so I didn't really notice it but when I had guests coming over who were taller than me they seem very like not comfortable it, I feel like Ikea furniture is low and narrow and made for like shorter people or maybe like Swedish people just don't care I don't know when you first get it it's a little tough like you kind of have to break it in but it is soft the velvet is awesome and so far everyone I've had come over like they've been comfortable on it which is what I wanted and then you can lay out on the like storage like chair part which is great. I'm very happy with my purchase. I wish I had bought it when it was cheaper but I'm glad I got it when I did because I feel like this color will probably be sold out when you know try and look around the season 
but I am going for a boho theme. I probably might do like a pillow boho roll. I don't know if anyone's interested in that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you have any questions, I feel like this was really fast. I might not have gotten to everything. Any questions you have, just leave it down in the comments. I'll answer them. If you liked it, please give a girl a like and subscribe. I would super duper appreciate it. If you want to see a boho pillow haul, let me know because I would totally be down to do that. I'll probably do that anyway, to be honest. So anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching. Bye!